powerful, authentic African, exciting and inviting scenes is what marked the European Union funded Twin Cities in Sustainable Partnership Project's Sekeva Transnational Culture Festival in Sekendi Takrade, the first of its kind. Sakava Festival is not just an event, but conscious effort to develop, promote artworks of local artists, our heritage sites, and artifacts in the metropolis. The event will serve as a platform to position visual art and craft sector as a pillar for local economic development in creating employment, promoting tourism, and creativity of our artists. As part of the maiden event, 52 arts and craft artists have been supported with a total grant of 238,013 cities. We therefore have on display at the exhibition, outstanding artworks in ceramics, sculpture, painting, wood carvers, traditional fashion, and basketry from the beneficiaries of the grant. The team for the occasion projecting Second Data Credit through Creative Arts is most appropriate. Sakava then becomes a necessity towards effort to restore our creative art industry. Our rich cultural heritage through sustained programs such as what we have here today. I want to see a renewed interest in the youth in the creative art industry. Women particularly must be encouraged to take up lead roles in the industry and that women should have a special place in the industry. Jointly opening the four-day Park Sekeva Festival with traditional and regional political leadership, Ghana's Minister for Tourism, Art and Culture acknowledged the importance of such platforms for the creative arts. something that is worthy of continuing and uh, I'm sure that we all can put our heads together to see how this can also become an important feature on our tourist calendar uh, because uh, many a time it's just a Christmas and an Easter that you get to see you know but we need to be able to have an all year round activities that then would get people to come into the, the, the metropolis to contribute to economic growth and development. And so it's something that I endorse. You can imagine if we actually invested in venues and provided platforms for the creative sector. Uh, it's a multiplicity of jobs. Material for painting can not only be pigment from artificial but also natural. There is no single artificial coloration in the two paintings. And there is the sand from Sekendi Takra that has been used in this production. We collect discarded materials from our local environment to create meaningful art pieces so that it will educate our people and also question our contribution to our sustainability. So this is a sea, a sea waves and the land, trying to depict how waste gets into the sea and comes back onto the land. So we titled it Melody of Discard. And also this is also a, a portrait of Dr. Pa Grant and it was also created with waste. This is uh, some photos taken between Palermo, uh, Accra, Tagoradi. So there is that the places that I love. Uh, I like the freedom that you have in your country. So I think this represents this feeling. 
Francisco Campana, Honorary Councillor of Ghana Sicily Business Forum, who led an Italian delegation to the Sekeva Festival to spearhead street art and paintings, as well as exhibited, noted the important place of creative arts in projecting one's history. I'm bringing the greetings from the mayor of Palermo, Roberto Lagalla, and the congratulations for what you are creating here. Because there is a need of a new narrative. We have to teach European what is Africa now, what is Ghana now. Projecting a new Takoradi through arts. And this is very, very important. Art can help us to find the way for the future. While grateful for the opportunity to exhibit at the Sekeva Festival, the exhibitors crave for more support for the creative arts. And it's very good for us as an artist to have such an occasion so that we can all exhibit some of our works because most of us, when we do the works, we don't have a showroom to showcase our works. Our works. So most of the works are in our workshop and uh, our, our, our homes or rooms. So this gathering uh, is very good to expose us to the world for what we also are doing in Sekendita Karate. Funding will actually really help the local artists at home to also get to be known by the people of the nation or go viral at least. The Transnational Culture Festival is one of the key activities we are flying under the Twin Cities in Sustainable Partnership Project. And today marks a very significant day in, in, in the project implementation as we have been able to achieve our, our target as 52 uh, artisans uh, that were supported under the grant as exhibited their talent here and all of us can can see and it is my hope that the second Graduate metropolitan assembly and uh, ghana as a whole will build upon what we have started here beside the well attended art and craft exhibition at the sekeva festival was the symposium on the art and craft industry attended by senior high school students who received various presentations on how to excel in creative arts. Don't come and follow the pattern. We are all sewing, so you also come, you join the queue. You are also in men's clothes, men's wear. No, come out with something. Create a different product design. This was followed with a visual art festival for senior high schools that saw St. John's School from Second D winning the biggest prize. Ready to show their cooking skills in their beautiful chef dresses, these students from nine senior high schools availed themselves to compete in cooking of Ghanaian cuisines at the Sekeva Festival. My name is Elomia Sanifu, a student of Sekeni College. We are here to represent a local, some local dishes, and they are grilled tilapia, stir fried acheke, tiger nut mold, fried chia yesu, and turkey pine root drink. We have nine schools taking part in this competition, and they are to prepare our native food like the local dishes from all the tribes in Ghana, making Ghana proud. And they are three team members cooking for each school. For me, I know after the competition, it's going to broaden up their knowledge about our local dishes, the importance, the health-wise, but the local dishes carries vitamins, natural nutrients that helps the body in growing or developing. So at the end of it, they'll know how they'll go about it. After the entertaining cooking competition, Takwari Technical Institute came to us. We, we are happy to win this competition because we have suffered a lot for it. 
It has given me a great opportunity to exhibit my talent because I never knew that I could do such a thing. Um, and also, I want to um, say that it has given me a great opportunity to be a chef or a caterer or matron in the future. It's mind blowing. So, all that you can say is thank you to all the organizations who organize this competition for us. To showcase and reinforce the beautiful traditional ways of Sekendita Kwadi residents, the Sekeva Festival also organized a fashion show. As the first ever Sekeva Transnational Cultural Festival came to a close, excited patrons and key stakeholders wished for more. This is my first time being here, and my experience from what I saw. We should keep on doing this exhibition. It looks like um, there's hope. From the point of view of the assembly, um, this is a great success because we really expect that um, the numbers that will come to this thing. This is something that has never occurred within the Second Data Credit Metropolis. And STMA has become the forefront of such an event. And I can assure you, we are going to sustain this program year after year. I believe going forward, uh, it will create that enabling environment for artists and entrepreneurs in Palermo and Ghana to be able to establish some business network. Personally, I think that um, Italy and Ghana are closer. Uh, there is this uh, direct flight between uh, Rome and Accra that in June started. And for sure, it will help to give some proposals, a new proposal in this area of cultural tourism and if someone arrive here and choose Secondita Goradi as a place where to experience, to do experience of real Africa, they have to find uh, artisan, artists, they have to have a look of uh, this uh, need to express art as a boost to get Italy and Ghana closer. Palermo and Secondita Coradi, real sisters. We know that the sky is their limit and their products is going to be exhibited, uh, God willing, in Palermo this year so that internationally we can also sell the work that they have been doing in the metropolis.